Hi Leo, I'm your host, Tina. This is going to be your April Love Tarot reading. So I am trying things a little bit different this time. I do hope you guys enjoy it. Please do let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, this is going to be your Love Tarot reading, Leo. Um, we are going to take a look at basically where you're coming from, where are you guys currently, and then the near future, what is coming towards you both. So these are love readings. I do like to remind people that just because they're love readings doesn't mean it's romantic. They often are, but this can really be anybody. Um, they are general readings, but if it does resonate, take the parts that do and trust that it's for you. All right, Leo, let's see what's happening for you in the recent past. Where are you guys coming from for Leo? Recent past for Leo. This love situation. We're gonna stop it here for you. We got the hermit at the bottom. We've come a long way in a way. Ace of Wands, that's nice. It's very nice, especially for like a romantic reading. The Ace of Wands, you know, always has those like sexual vibes. Six of Cups. Yeah, some of you I feel like have really come a long way. This is really nice energy in the recent past. Um, you know, maybe we've learned some lessons. Now we have this, this desire to like build and work together here, like to bring something back to life from the past. There's a lot of commitment here. I really like this energy in the recent past. Um, the hermit is there. So I feel like you've come a long way to get to this place right now, to get to this Ace of Wands, this Three of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and this King of Pentacles, right? You know, the Six of Cups is like, you know, almost missing each other, missing the good old days and the times that it was a lot of fun and just like, you know, there's a lot of like sweet and compassionate and like sharing energy, um, generous energy with the Six of Cups. So there's like nostalgia attached to it, um, but there's a sweetness with it. It's like, a, you know, simple pleasures in life that are appreciated with the Six of Cups. And so I kind of love that energy about it. Ace of Wands is here. There's like, ooh, it's like such desire, you know, or like such inspiration or motivation or just like really pumped up to hit restart, you know, to kickstart things again, um, to hit reboot, you know, that's the Ace of Wands. And it's not just like the desire. It's also the willpower to match it. So I love the Ace of Wands energy and it's here. It's paired with the Three of Pentacles. So you guys are really wanting to come together, collaborate, you know, build together, create together. Um, and then, yeah, we got the Six of Cups here. I feel like, you know, we have some nice memories together as well. King of Pentacles is here. So it's like very like you guys, there's a lot of like we value each other type of energy, right? Like. You guys are worth a lot to each other, mean a lot to each other, um, you know? So it's really, really beautiful energy. Really, it's almost like trying to create some stability with that Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, you know? Um, this is very like committed energy, committed to hitting restart, excited to like break things back to life. You know, Three of Pentacles I love because there's also this like feeling of like respect, like we respect what everybody brings to the table in this energy, right? And it's also realizing that like what we can create together is bigger than what we can have alone, right? Um, and so that's really nice energy as well. All right, let's take a look at the current energies and where you are at now, Leo. Let's see. For Leo, currently, all right. Let's see. Okay. We're going to stop it here. We got judgment at the bottom. Well, there's definitely a desire to come together and work together. But there's like fear of the unknown, right? Oh my God, fear of the unknown, trying to like 
it's like we're navigating fears right now. You know, the moon is here. So the moon is um, tricky energy. Who, who just had the moon? Aries just had the moon as well. And it kind of dominated their reading. But yeah, we have the moon here. So as much as there's excitement to like move in this new direction, because the two of wands is here as well. This speaks of like, hello, changing direction. Like, but, but like this stepping out of your comfort zone here it's like scary with the moon right it's making us scared of the unknown it makes us second guess things it makes us like fears and worries come to the surface and you don't know what to trust right and so i feel like you're trying to find out what you can trust even in your own thoughts um, and this is shared between you both so i feel like both of you are currently trying to figure this out and then there's this independent single energy currently right and it's about changing directions so are we going from like being single to maybe not being single anymore to coming back together? Are you scared you're going to lose your independence by working together with somebody? These are kind of the energies that I feel like we're navigating right now. But it's like, do you feel like you give your power away? Um, because, you know, being self-sufficient and independent and able to rely on yourself and take care of yourself is very empowering, you know? And then you also have the two of wands here, which is about um, getting basically personal power and getting it back. You know, this person doesn't hold the world in their hands for no reason. It's to indicate that you do have the world in your hands, right? And that you can choose where do you go? Who are you going to be, right? What's, what's the next journey? What's the next adventure for you? So it's, it's a card of personal power and so is the nine of pentacles. But then you see it connected with the moon and so of course it's like do you like is there a fear here of like do i give away my power am i like you know there's something about that like am i giving i don't know am i giving away too much right will i lose my my identity my ability to take care of myself you know um, all of that but there's desire for like clarity with the ace of swords right now or an honest conversation here with the ace of swords or even a new way to communicate but both of you guys are like wanting a clear solution here you guys both have victory and triumph even the sword is a card of power here so for some reason there's something about our personal power that i feel like is just bringing up a lot of thoughts that we have to navigate that with the moon energy right the moon is is tricky energy you don't know what is real and what isn't right um, and sometimes it's here to teach us that things aren't as bad as they appear but they can appear really bad with the moon so I just feel like there's a real desire to kind of come together to pivot shift change our energies um, but with that there's a lot of fear of the unknown and fear of what you might be giving up or losing in order to gain something and you know what there is truth in that fear in a way right because you know, they even teach this in what economics, it's, it's opportunity costs, right? Everything costs something. And that is the truth. And you just have to know the price that you're paying and ask what, what holds more value to you, like the King of Pentacles, know what matters most to you. Um, but yeah, these are the current energies. So really interesting, really interesting. It's like, do we, get together or do we stay single it's really interesting um okay but it's like i feel there's this real desire to work together especially in the recent past okay yeah and judgments here right so it's like big decision all right like it's also like do we rise this from the ashes just like this judgment card right because we have this card of the past and like we were seeing the reboot and like kickstart things again and interesting interesting right let us see what is coming towards you, Leo, towards both of you coming towards Leo in this love reading, April coming towards Leo. Let's see. Okay. We're going to stop it here for you. We got page of wands. Curious, curious king of cups. I like that. I love the King of Cups energy, um, you know, emotionally mature Ooh, with the Queen of Swords, intellectually sharp, Eight of Swords, though, hmm. and the Knight of Wands. All right. 
As we navigate this moon energy, let's keep in mind just very similar to Aries in the sense of the moon being the dominating energy for April. And these are all the like how you're dealing with the moon energy every day this month, right? Like, you know, one day you might get the best of you. One day you might be hopeful. The next day, like the Eight of Swords, you might feel a little trapped. You might be like, man, where's the solution that I'm trying to come up with? Where's the clear answer? And you know what? It might not be that clear, right? Um, you might really, really, because you see this, this combination here of emotions and intellect, right? The power of, you know, navigating with our emotions here with the King of Cups, and then also the power of the mind and navigating with our thoughts here with the Queen of Swords, right? So you have these two, right? Like heart and mind, heart and mind, right? But you know, sometimes our emotions aren't the answer. And to be fair, that doesn't mean that sometimes our thoughts are the answer. Sometimes we go about these two in the same manner that we always have, that it doesn't actually give us clarity, right? And so I feel like that's what starts introducing this Eight of Swords energy. It's really just overthinking, honestly, right? It's, it's overanalyzing, it's um, analysis paralysis, right? And so when we overthink, and oh my God, so funny. It's ongoing with this current energy. I was just gonna say, you know, she, because this character has been overthinking so much, she feels trapped, right? She feels what? Powerless. And like I was saying, there's something here with, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. You just feel like there's, like I'm giving up my power type of energy. This one's different, of course. This is like really just victim of our own thoughts, honestly and truly. It's like you're trying to deal with something, you're trying to think clearly, but the thoughts just take over and they take over and now they're getting the best of us, right? So Eight of Swords is just like, if you feel like you can't see a clear solution, even worse, if you feel like there is no solution, there's no way there is one, that's the moment we have to kind of step back, detach ourselves, remove ourselves from our thoughts, do something. Meditate, music, forget about it if you have to, and let the answer kind of come to you, because it will. But yeah, this is just more about like, I feel like just thinking of our power here. Knight of Wands is here too, so I just want to say, it's a, it's a little bit of an impulsive energy, but it could also be something that comes through that takes you guys by surprise. Nothing major. But just like what and it's you know surprising but yeah i mean honestly you have to just kind of try to not overthink it and this is kind of for both of you because you are dealing with the moon energy right so you come from this place of feeling so light and excited and motivated and then you start kind of taking those few steps or like even if it's just in thought here presently and that kind of brings on this fear and i feel like we're navigating that fear this month and that's it. It's about reminding yourself when it gets too heavy that you just need to take a step back from it. And this is both of you. And that's because you kind of, you are asking, can we breathe something back to life here, right? Um, Page of Wands is here and you guys are very curious. You're very curious though. Um, and then sometimes the curiosity, it, it goes beyond curiosity and it becomes for some reason overwhelming, right? Because you're now getting ready to open your heart and that can be scary. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Leo. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, please let me know what you think in the comments. If you did like it, if you feel like it helped, then um, hit subscribe as well. All right, Leo, um, I'll see you guys next week for my regular weekly tarot readings. Bye.